Good morning. Well done for making it. It's a quite an achievement. It just shows the determination that we have in the room, which is exactly what we want because um, you know, we have this huge opportunity to, to improve maternity services uh, and the, uh, the subject we're talking about today, the Maternal ne Neonatal Health Safety Collaborative, is one of the, the key components of how we're going to do that. And your determination is absolutely key to uh, us driving that improvement. Um, so my first job is to introduce you to Jacqueline Dunkley-Bent, who is a, a maternity safety champion and head of midwifery at NHS England. Um, and uh, Jacqueline's going to tell you a little bit about maternity safety champions. And I'd like to introduce uh, Matthew Jolly, who's uh, <laughs> the doctor half of the midwife, um, uh, national clinical director and uh, consultant obstetrician at Chichester Hospi Hospital. What I'd like to say is that Matthew, although I'm not allowed to say this, Matthew was on call last night. So we're delighted that he made it through the storm um, to get here today and he's also on call tonight. We're delighted together to be here, and um, I think this is a fantastic um, opportunity. Um, I'm really proud to know that for the 136 maternity providers in England, that we have committed to supporting quality improvement methodology embedded at grassroots in all our organizations and supporting um, the learning and the shared learning across England. That is an amazing achievement. Never before has that happened for England. So as national safety champions, we're delighted to be a part of that journey. And also, we're delighted that we have named safety champions, courtesy of our fantastic colleagues at NHS Improvement, who have been pushing this agenda to ensure that we have named safety champions at regional level, at local level, and um, obviously there was that publication a few weeks ago telling us a little, bit, a little bit about what national safety champions, regional and local safety champions can do to help this amazing collaborative. Great. Um, so in terms of housekeeping and the sessions? Absolutely. So uh, just a little bit of housekeeping. We have... Uh, a few uh, sound bites to give to you. Matthew's going to give you the information about the interactive piece, but what I'd like you to do is to ensure that you've booked onto your breakout sessions. If you haven't booked, please do so. Also, there is one cancellation, unfortunately, and that's due to weather. People can't get out of their areas to get down to London, and that session is the uh, Pennine Acute session so if you have booked onto that can you please rebook onto one of the other amazing sessions that are happening at that time you won't you won't miss out there's great learning um, from all the sessions so please do once we finish this morning session over coffee please rebook into another session great so for those of you who want to tweet there's a bit of paper on the on your desks with your hashtag and also there's instructions about uh, Glissa. Glissa allows you to be interactive and answer questions. Um, and it also allows you to get um, all the slides. So rather than having to take photos or quickly write notes, all the slides will be sent to your email when you register on the Glissa. So if you just enter the address here into your browser, the glsr.it forward stroke mn18, it will come up and then you can get your slides and interact. And I think we've got a couple of uh, test slides about to come up with a couple of test questions um, to see how that works, he says, hopefully. Great, here we go. So here's your first question. <laughs> so we can see the, the voting starting. So I assume that was the answer then, is it? Here we go. The question. So the colours, so these are the voting going on. We had just have 50-50, and we don't see any more changes, so oh, there's more, more votes coming in. I think we're getting pretty close to everyone having had a vote. Oh, we're increasing. Uh, and the cheese is coming in now, great. 
So can we close that one down and see what the correct answer was, please? And I assume that because the Gothen's greyed out, that is our correct answer. So it is uh, illegal to land a flying saucer in a, in a French vineyard. That sort of implies that in other, other countries' vineyards, it's not illegal to apply. But anyway. <laughs> um, and now we have a slightly more serious question for our second test question. On a scale of one to five, how engaged do you feel with the Maternity and Neonatal Health Safety Collaborative? One, not very engaged. Five, very engaged. Hopefully again, we'll see the votes coming up. So I suppose the skill is this is knowing when to stop it when you get the answer you really want. <laughs> <laughs> not, that, not that any of us would do anything like that. So just let the, let the voting settle down a bit. Great, thank you very much for that. So that's a, that's a good start. Now let's, it'd be interesting to do at the end of the day and see how that's changed. Um, great, so our first session and our first talk today is from Tony Kelly. Um, I've worked with Tony for, for several years. Tony is a, an obstetrician at heart and uh, works uh, at Brighton. But he's been really passionate about outcomes and quality and, and has done lots of things in his career, both working <laughs> in his hospital and then uh, by leading the Patient Safety Collaborative in his AHSN down in Kent, Surrey and Sussex. And then more recently, he was appointed as National Clinical Director for NHS improvement and for, for leading, providing clinical leadership for the Maternal and Neonatal Health Safety Collaborative. So it's a real great pleasure to, to welcome someone who, who's truly passionate about uh, driving quality improvement. So thank you very much, Tony. <laughs> 